our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ lives and reigns from Andromeda. This is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. I think a few people on my previous videos surrounding the divine messengers were not so convinced about my analysis of the situation. There were a few people in the comment box really annoyed, insisting that this group were genuinely Catholic. And so I thought I would pick out one particular video of theirs that blatantly shows the bizarre Gnostic New Age alien life form beliefs that they have. So we're going to look at this revelation that was given on the 7th of October 2020. It's a revelation apparently of our Lord Jesus Christ in which he reveals what well, we're going to listen to Elias right now and I'm going to give you a little bit of a commentary showing how bizarre these ideas are, how un-Catholic, anti-Catholic, heretical, false, misleading, evil they are. So let's go over to you Elias. Andromeda isn't a star, it's a constellation, but this is where God started his great plan for humanity and others, other humanities. Andromeda is the regent of your solar system and that, is that like a revelation for us it was there where the creator fathers, the creator fathers once arrived so so we've got creators i got us i got to pause the video sorry i wanted to do a voiceover but it's just not possible this guy's blurting out crazy so quickly so we've got the creator fathers who have been sent to Andromeda to create humanity and to begin God's divine plan and their plan then for other humanities. So you've got these like in classical classical theology of religion, we call these group these guys the demiurge, these individuals, lesser deities that are responsible for the creation the idea that, that god didn't create directly instead he created some other lesser divinities who then created lesser divinities and created lesser divinities and each one is kind of an overflowing of divinity and this is exactly what this group believes Projecto divino. through a divine project que primero debía surgir y manifestarse that first should emerge and manifest itself in la gran estrella de Andromeda. There it is again, the great star of Andromeda, the first place where where creation begins, where humanity begins, where the humanities begin. Those who arrived there, they arrived there. Were beings of the mental These universe. divinities were like, were like minor divinities, were like were mental... in science and divine science. Fue así que los arcángeles enviaron a los Helen. That was how the archangels sent the hello para que pudieran gestar ese proyecto de Dios en esa parte del universo. So that they could just take the So let's of God pause again the there, universe. I think. So it sounds like there are these divinities, these lesser creators who are archangels who send this other group that are called the Helal. And they're not angels. They are, no, they're the creators, the Helal, but they're sent by the archangels. So there's this kind of hierarchy. There's a God, which is like a universal consciousness. And then from the universal consciousness, you've got these archangels, and then you've got this other group called the Helal, and the Helal, 12 of them, are sent to Andromeda to begin about the creation of, of humanities humanities who are going to be the unfolding of the divine plan this is what my celestial church shows to you today not the catholic church 
main portal. The main portal is not the church our Lord founded, it's this guy. We are going to the true science of its origin. The true science of the origin of the universe. So that you may comprehend how the divine laws acted within the creative universe para después que están leyes universales. To then just state universal laws. Okay, let's pause here and jump a bit further into the video. The hello, the resplendent. So we're back on Andromeda here, we're talking about Andromeda. The most subtle angelic beings of the mental universe. So the hello are living in a thing called the mental universe. Have never They've never left Andromeda. Just when the archangels requested them, para que a partir del universo mental, so that from the mental universe, they kind of they work from the mental universe, but also in Andromeda, they work from the mental universe onto Andromeda. And on Andromeda, they bring about the emergence of the humanities, these Helel. Just like ours, you know. All the humanities were created there. I guess all the different alien um, communities. Why was Andromeda chosen? That's a good question. And as I said, Andromeda is a constellation, not a star. And why does today Andromeda continues to be the no, region it's center of only the only center universe? of the local universe. There are other centers of other parts of the universe, I guess. Todo parte de un sentido divino y oculto. Remember, this is, this is Jesus Christ telling us this, and he's talking about this hidden knowledge, right? This is pure Gnosticism. God's mysterious plan was to begin everything on Andromeda. Let's jump ahead a little bit more. Muchas conciencias del universo llegaron a la Tierra para socorrer a la humanidad. Many consciousnesses of the universe arrived at the Earth to help humanity. Porque lo que había so, sucedido en Andrómeda había sido so muy this importante. Is, um, Because what had happened in humanity Andromeda is sent down very from important. Andromeda. And humanity is special because we have this spark of divinity within us. A spiritual conclave was given in those times. Aun cuando no existía the conscience Still, when the there was this spiritual conclave on Andromeda yet. between, I guess, the, the angels. Not even the elaboration of the first part of the project. Well, I suppose they decide what's going to happen with humanity. Solo era una del mental. This because is it was really Mormon-like, isn't it? Universe. If you know about the Mormon mythology to then become a reality in the material universe ¿Por qué el proyecto en Andrómeda no se completó en la Tierra? Why didn't the project That's a good question, isn't it? The Andromeda project, the project that the conclave worked out that was granted whatever that was, we haven't really been told Porque what that was, but it didn't work no out on Earth. Why didn't the higher consciousnesses did not manage to fulfill what the Hello asked them? What was it? We're not exactly sure, but it didn't work out. The higher consciences, the Hillel. to be aware, companions. That the, oh, creator father the creator failed. father failed. Big revelation. God ain't perfect. Or the, oh. And that he was <laughs> absolved by his obedience, disobedience. Now this is the, let, let me stop let me stop here because I think I need to clarify something for their benefit. Eternal Father. Let's just hear this bit. For a moment. For a moment. Estuvo ante una incógnita. Was before something unknown. ¿Qué sería de la creación? What would be of creation? Let's pause it now. So, so he's talking about the Hillel, 
I think the creator father is this lesser divinity who failed. But then he refers to the eternal father, which is the consciousness. But this consciousness is not completely omniscient, we've just learned, because this consciousness that emanated the creator father, which I think is one of the Hillel, one of the twelve who's responsible for creating humanity, that one failed, right? But the creator father didn't foresee it, and it was a kind of surprise to the, not the creator father, the eternal father, it was a surprise to him. Now this is dodgy, guys. Guys, this is not Christianity at all. We're talking about a consciousness that's not perfect, that's learning things, that's being surprised by what's going on, that's using lesser divinities to create humanities, and it all begins in Andromeda, in a constellation. Let's continue. The mistaking creator so, this is classic Gnosticism. The creator of humanity, of the material human, human world, made a mistake. For this reason, he denied the so he's father. kind of evil, the creator of humanity, and everything changed. or not so good. From then on, evolution was divided, with the first mistake of Adam and Eve. With the first mistake of Adam and Eve. Okay, so uh, where did Adam and Eve come from? La manzana de la tentación los abrazó. The apple of temptation embraced them. Y su proyecto genético cambió. And his genetic project his genetic changed project. De la noche a la mañana. overnight. His genetic project, what, the creator father, this lesser deity thing? De la inmortalidad e ingresaron a la mortalidad. You left immortality and you entered and into mortality. So, the Creator Father made some kind of mistake, Adam and Eve made some kind of mistake, Adam and Eve were changed, genetically, and because of that, death came into the world. Yeah, if people think Genesis is confusing, this is, this is extremely weird. And again, unforeseen, the idea that there's this this eternal God is shocked by things, learns things, things are not as God had foreseen at all. This is classic Gnosticism, it's not Christianity, and it's a little bit like Mormonism. After 26,000 years. 26,000 years, that's Adam and Eve to, to Abraham, I think he's going to say. The first project. Is it going to be other projects? Well, there are these other humanities. Yeah, so Abraham's 26,000 years after Adam and Eve. Funnily enough, I don't think either creationists or evolutionists would agree with that chronology of 26,000 years. Okay, so we'll jump a little bit ahead after Abraham. Okay, jumping a bit ahead. This is a big revelation now that's coming up. Because as part of God, we know his history. Yeah, there's a big error. We know your history because we are part of this humanity. Humanity is part of God. God is part of humanity. Mary and Jesus both incarnated. So that up to the matter, the idea is that that the divine consciousness became manifested in Jesus and Mary. And they can do what the Hillel, the creators, failed to do. I don't know why why the death of Christ did anything. You know, none of it makes any logical sense. But that's Gnosticism for you. It's kind of a secret, mis secret mystery religion 
of ideas that are not necessarily logically coherent. Christ's plural. The aspiration of God could be fulfilled. That his love could be part of his creatures forever. With an ending that sounds kind of Christian, right? God's love being with us. To avail myself of his creatures, of his children. So, I think probably I've tried your patience now. I hope with this video, you can really see how weird their ideas are. How the Jesus and Mary of the Divine Messengers are not Christian figures. That we're dealing with a religion that believes in everything going on in this far away constellation where we are created humanity is created but the humanity is also part of god the creator messes up jesus and mary are becoming manifestations of divinity to mess up how the creator to fix how the creator messed up this is pure gnosticism and I hope that anyone that thought that they were Christian, that they were Catholic, can see in this crazy video of theirs how far away they are from Christianity, how far they are from the one true faith. Okay, let's close now. I think we've had enough. But just so you know, those messages from Jesus Christ, he's sending from Andromeda because that's where he still reigns. That's still the center of the celestial kingdom where the universe is governed from, or at least is part of the universe. So if you want to hear more messages from Andromeda, tune in to the divine messengers. If you want to save your soul, never look at the divine messengers ever again. May almighty God bless you. May our lady intercede for you in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy spirit. Amen.